this is uh, Raja Rao from Cloud Foundry's Dev Relations team and today I'm going to show you how to use Cloud Foundry's built-in NPM support for Node.js applications. Okay, first let's understand what NPM is. NPM stands for Node Package Manager. It's a command line tool that allows us to download and install Node.js modules directly from npmjs.org repository. So typically what you would do is like the diagram shows you write your app and if your app needs any external modules like uh, Express or Bcrypt or Socket.io you simply say npm install Express to download and install it on, on your laptop and once everything is ready to go you simply upload the entire app including all the modules to Cloud Foundry. But this causes a problem because if your app depends on native modules like Bcrypt or Fibers and if you install them on your Mac then these Bcrypt modules are actually compiled on Mac OS or on Windows operating system and because these native modules use C, C++ code anything that is compiled on Mac or Windows won't run on Cloud Foundry because Cloud Foundry uses Ubuntu so to solve this problem, Cloud Foundry now provides NPM support where you can simply upload your code from your laptop and Cloud Foundry will then download and install all the necessary modules from NPMJS directly in the cloud. And this provides two advantages. Uh, firstly, you don't have to upload node modules from your laptop to Cloud Foundry. And secondly, all the native modules that your app might depend will work perfectly because now it, they all get compiled in Cloud Foundry. But there are a couple of rules for this to work. First of all, uh, your app needs to provide npm shrinkwrap.json file. Uh, you can create that by running npm shrinkwrap command uh, in, on your local host. And secondly, if you upload your app along with node uh, underscore modules from your laptop then all the local modules will be used and Cloud Foundry won't, won't download uh, anything from npmjs.r so to avoid that what you need to do is to create a file called cloudfoundry.json and have ignore node modules equals true and this would force Cloud Foundry to always download and install modules from npmjs.org and ignore anything that you have uploaded. That brings us to demo. Let's see it in action. Okay, here is a really simple app. Uh, it uses uh, Express module and also Bcrypt need to module. Uh, it really doesn't do anything. All it does is to compare uh, string Cloud Foundry with Cloud Foundry uh, using Bcrypt. Uh, let me show you how the bcrypt looks like. So if you look at bcrypt's module you can see it has a lot of C++ uh, code in it. So when you install it, it actually compiles it into a native one. So if you go back over here you can see that so you can see there is a dot node file that's the one that is actually a compiled C++ code. Okay, let me run it on localhost I have this here, so .js and let's see, if thousand. So, so bcrypt is basically working. Now let me go and then try to push this one to Cloud Foundry. Okay, now you can see that it's actually not working and you can also see there is an error saying invalid ELF header and that means uh, your native module is um, incompatible with the operating system. Okay, let's make this work. First we need to do is to run npm shrink wrap command. So this will create 
a file called npm shrinkwrap.json with the exact versions of all the modules like express and bcrypt and also all the modules that express itself depends on like connect formidable mime etc and secondly we also need to create a cloud foundry dot json file and so in this we need to say ignore anything that i'm uploading which is the modules from my, from my laptop and then i'm going to upload this to cloud foundry Okay, so let's test it out. So I'll go back here. Cool, it's working now. Okay, that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for watching.